Namaskar, sir. We are so delighted to have you with us. My heartfelt gratitude, ladies and gentlemen. We are blessed to have learned Professor Mahesh Jivani Sahab from Saurashtra University there with us. And uh, sir has been really kind enough to join us and uh, share his words of wisdom. Friends, let me tell you, he's an amazing human being, a person who has tremendous knowledge of digital skills. So none else could have been a better person than him to let us know about proficiency in digital literacy. Ladies and gentlemen, you can see the way he is appearing in the screen through his virtual studio that reflects about and complements to the talks which we had today from Washington State University, US, and from the professor of IIM Bangalore and the founder of School of Meaningful Experiences, Professor Rakesh Gudwani ji. Each one of the distinguished speakers who have joined us are the doyans of their domain. They are luminaries. We are blessed, fortunate, and lucky that they have consented to join us as distinguished speaker in this first of its kind, the faculty development program of Center for Life Skills and Soft Skills. I'm delighted that I have an amazing team with my additional director, Dr. Divya Malan, and fellow colleagues, Dr. Nidhi and Dr. Arunji, who have been always supportive for this. Now I request Dr. Divya for a formal well welcome of Professor Mahesh Jivani, sir, and then we start with today's session. Over to you, Dr. Divya. Thank you so much, sir. It's always a delightful experience to first listen to you and then go ahead with the session. And it's always delightful to have uh, such beautiful uh, participants who are there in time. You know, we had a very fast lunch today and uh, it was really a, really a very nice experience. We are having a good experience of rushing through things and then getting back to work. And it's always so delightful. And uh, with these words, definitely, I would not like to take much of the time since we want to start the session. Our honorable speaker is already there. So I would like the participants to get uh, familiar with uh, Professor Mahesh Jivani. He is a professor at the Department of Electronics, Saurashtra University, Rajkot. Now, when I was going through what he uh, has been doing, I was really surprised. Are we really uh, someday going to be there? Let's see. Let's see. So, sir has been teaching papers of advanced communications, fiber optics, C language, computer hardware at MSc classes. And with the theory paper teaching, he has developed new experiments in the laboratory and guided many students for the project work as part of the curriculum. Now, to get classroom involvement of students, he has been resorting to techniques like quizzes, presentations by students, and class and home assignments. He has made yes. years of modern age like PowerPoint presentations, wireless slates, and smart interactive programs. To keep himself abreast with his latest developments in the subject, he has been regularly participating in seminars, workshops, conferences, and faculty accreditation programs, organized by institutes of national repute. Teaching has been his strongest preoccupation. Of course, this is a very important integral part of university education system, and in this regard, he has pursued himself double role, namely as an independent researcher and as a research supervisor. He has completed seed money research projects for Astra University and UGC minor research project independently. One student of PhD program has completed research work and one has submitted his thesis under his supervision and his involvement as an independent researcher and research supervisor has helped him in his application of electronics theory and practice and the intricacies involved in the current research issues. At present, issues At pertaining to mobile defragmentation and processing has been his major research plans. Now, at the present time also, a teacher has to go beyond the usual classroom curriculum teaching and research and integrate himself or herself with the society in a meaningful way. So he has tried for the same by associating himself more actively with the Quality enhancement work like MAC counseling, centralized admission systems, university brochures, academic calendars, as well as e content development. He's also associated with NU as a counselor as well as assistant coordinator. Then he got the opportunity to provide counseling to those students who could be a part of regular university education system. However, they want to improve their educational while they are in employment. 
he's also engaged with mixed stuff call he gets the opportunity to share his knowledge as a school person with teachers coming from orientation and different courses from various colleges and universities in india he has published great number of research papers in the journals and leading electronics magazine electronics for you and electronics maker has also published three books of three different technical names year 2006 his paper entitled comparison analysis based single sound enhancement using filters got first place in national seminar 88 2006 organized by computer science departments rashtra university rajkot he has been a member of iete and also been regularly attending conferences seminars and workshops prepared to conferences and workshops and seminars which have focused on science and signal processing Participation in all these helped him in developing professional contact across the country, and it also helped come the course of other research. These programs provide him the opportunity to let others know about work and receive critical feedback for further improvements. And details of these time, place, author, etc. are given in his session that you may reach to him later on after the session. And uh, he has been working extensively in cloud. Talks about district work, quality enhancement program. Do it. Are you working? Working. Ah, working enough. Enough. Get a message from you. Enough. Yes, enough, ma'am. <laughs> no, it's no, no. Ah, it's very much enough because uh, uh, being a teacher in the university, everybody has to do all these things. So nothing no, new no, in this. That, that's completely. And it's been happening. This group of participants. I have been seeing, really excited to know about their person. I have been uh, uh, anchoring stages with various speakers, but then I found that the audience really do not respond so well to the introduction. Get back to the work, but then uh, here I think that these participants are really, really nervous, and I feel lucky to be part of this team, who is actually catering to these participants. They are very knowledgeable, sir, and they teach each and every one. At least speak for the persons we have, and honestly speaking, sir, with your vast experience, definitely going to be a very learning experience today. We welcome you, sir. Thank you, thank you, ma'am, for uh, such a kind words. Uh, and uh, you and uh, uh, Daya, sir, increase my responsibility. Uh, so, uh, now I have to perform, right? so this is all about performance this is all about whatever the words uh, spoken about you myself or anybody else then the time comes and that everybody has to perform right so sachin tendulkar go for the uh, 98 century then again he is waiting for 99 century and then after also he has to practice and uh, wants to achieve 100 uh, mark so uh it depends on the performance whatever the words and were written on the paper uh, are not come into the picture while well, uh, uh, the topic uh, this is the topic about this right so that's why i'm uh, describing all these things that it's all about performance your skills whatever the skills whatever uh, you know is not important but whatever the idea you have whatever the knowledge you have and how you are going to implement through your schools that is very important in this world uh, maybe i know so many things uh, then what is the use of that particular things until and unless i am not going to use it in a proper way and for that uh, use of uh, particular knowledge so i need some kind of a proper skill with the tools so that i am going to explain over here today uh, sir has given me a topic a beautiful topic and it's a need of a day or need of a uh, Ida also you can say that is digital and professional skills. So both are very important aspect uh, because of see uh, right now all of we are connected through different geographical locations, right? And uh, that is because of using a technology. So here technology will going to play a major role, right? Now uh, before this pandemic, nobody knows uh, and no even people uh, so many people are. Uh, have idea about Zoom, Google Meet, uh, this Webex, and all these things. But because of pandemic, now everybody knows. Even small kid who is in the school, he or she also get uh, already know about the 
this uh, virtual environment. So now uh, technology is playing a very important role and everything is changing like uh, a boom. So we also have to update ourselves. So where this digital and professional skills are very much important. So uh, with all of your kind permissions, uh, uh, can I share my screen? Sir, stage is all yours. Yeah, thank you very much, sir. And if anybody have any problem, they are free to unmute themselves and uh, they are uh, free to uh, <clears throat> uh, ask any query or questions. Uh, I'm ready to give answer as I am not a Google, but I will try my best. Okay. Uh, fine. I am visible. Visible, sir. Screen visible and visible. audible both. Absolutely fine, okay. sir. Okay, okay. Fine. So this is now again visible. Everything, my screen, podium, myself. Yes, sir. Uh, Absolutely, sir. Okay. Okay. Resolution, every readable. Everything is readable and uh, uh, clearly. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yeah. Yeah. Fine. Fine. Fantastic. So first uh, round is clear <laughs> for me <laughs> because in technology uh, we have to check everything is okay or not. So now the first round is clear. So here we are going very good afternoon to everybody. It's uh, uh, very difficult to attend a session after lunch, I know. So it comes uh, opportunity as well as a difficult part, right? Uh, so it's very much difficult to attend after taking a lunch, a good, uh, good lunch. But I will try my best uh, that uh, uh, I'll provide a good resource and a few good material uh, to all of you. Let's see what I have. Uh, we are going to talk about or we are going to discuss rather than talk. I'll, I'll use word uh, discuss. We are going to discuss about two uh, things, uh, digital and professional skills. Here, there are plenty of professional skills are there, but I am going to talk about in context of digital. Okay, so my talk uh, merely uh, room around uh, digital part. So what exactly digital, why we are talking about digital that we will discuss and what are the tools are there and how you can enhance your skills uh, about this uh, and how you can use this particular skill in a professional way. So that is a basic idea. Let's see uh, what I'm trying to say. So, uh, as I said, we are going to discuss about uh, digital and professional skills. A basic idea is about uh, to use digital tools in a professional way and to enhance our professional skills in the world. And I'm considering a high, uh, the ESR uh, had uh, given me a profile of participants from where, uh, so this profile shows it's a heterogeneous group uh, from so many uh, subjects but majorly uh, they are teachers. So I am also going to uh, speak about in the context of the educational backgrounds, right? So everything is about the, how we are going to use all these uh, skills in our classroom uh, teaching as well as day to day our uh, life uh, in context of uh, academic, right? So this is a philosophy I'm uh, following. I cannot teach anybody anything. I only mark them. Thing. So that is given by the Socrates in the two hours or one and a half hours or three hours, nobody can teach you anything uh, only. But if I, I, I can uh, spark you, uh, then my purpose is so and this uh, training of this uh, workshop is also uh, this purpose of this workshop is also so if you start thinking about, oh, this is also a world, this is not the world. But if you start thinking about this is also a world and there are so many beautiful things are there then purpose is served. So this is the only uh, uh, takeaway things and making difference kind of a thing that uh, people can start able, people can able to start thinking about, oh, this is also there. So, so this is what I am going to try. Okay. So in two hours, three hours, I cannot teach anything until and unless you are not going to accept it. Right. So this is a philosophy. Now let's start the topic, a digital and professional. So what we mean by digital? So basically digital in the world, there are always two uh, contexts. 
uh, here also they, uh, just like a coin have a two sides so in world also always have a two side one is analog and another one is a digital so analog is a by birth uh, we are we are analog quantity so by birth we are analog and if you want to convert yourself then you have to convert it into the digital say for example so many people are visiting to babas okay so they will guide you a uh, friend philosopher uh, whatever spiritual personality wh wh whosoever it is sometimes we are stuck in our life and people are uh, we are taking advice and it was sometimes it works sometimes it doesn't but when it works it means you are converting your um, things so from analog to digital so digital is not a uh, universal things we have to convert so universal thing is analog okay this uh, uh, our age is also a analog it's a continuous process whereas digital is a discrete process but here we are not going to word uh, see only word digital but here we are going to talk about the digital skill so what exactly there are two different things digital is a different digital skills are different digital comes under the technology aspects and digital skills how we are going to use this technology so digital skills comes under the are defined as a range of abilities to use digital devices and these are not my words i taken from the google that's why i uh, put a screen code jay google mahadev so everything is available there so uh, this is from the google and what google says when you when you search this is a first uh, uh, screenshot the digital skills are defined as a range of ability to use digital device so how we are going to use digital uh, device how we are going to do communicate uh, using digital devices and how we are going to use at various applications using digital devices and how even how you can create it okay so these are the comes under the digital skills so that uh, this kind of skills various skills we are going to see uh, one by one uh, there are plenty of things i'll uh, show you a few things then professional what exactly we mean by professional there are plenty again uh, definitions are there but here few things it's that how you are going to use this skill as an expert okay as an expert so that means a professional you are in the particular professions and how you are going to use this particular skill so that is comes under that we will see discuss uh, we will discuss later on also but these are i am just uh, giving the idea about basic idea and what exactly we mean by skills skills are the expertise or the talent needed in order to do job or task okay so these are the three things digital professional skill right so we will see one by one uh, and the million dollar question is why we are talking about this why uh, obviously it is because of uh, workshop uh, the lifelong learning skill a uh, name of the workshop is so that's why we are discussing all this that is the one answer another answer anybody have idea about why we are discussing all these things if anybody from the audience if they are here okay fine anybody is here uh, devices are we, there, uh, any, uh, sir, uh, sir we like need to be we need to be ready for the future uh, this is going to be the future of education as well okay future of the education as well as uh, right now also in present yes. also uh, yes. uh, uh, because we don't know, if we don't know anything about digital things then we are not able to take online classes it is the need yes. of the hour yes so presently and because of pandemic now it is a uh, very much required that's why we are uh, discussing all these things right so this is uh, reach the masses in order to reach the masses this is the only way like rural yes. india which is the yeah. backbone of yeah. our country yes yes so uh, education has it, to reach it, to the people rather than people are coming for education fantastic fantastic so there are plenty of uh, answers are there okay so that's why we are discussing all these things okay let's see these are the uh, answers and a shift is there uh, you can see uh, in the picture uh, two things are there one is a small boy another one is a small device which is now and people are knowing as a mobile right so these two things are very small boy is a, boy is a, it's a symbolic this boy is a symbol of our uh, future students and our present students right so uh, they are very powerful they know uh, how to work with the technology okay and that's why we have to work with the technology so that is also one dimension and the instrument very small instrument which is 
uh, really powerful information and through this instrument uh, you can find any information so you can say in real sense fingertip uh, informations and fingertips right so it's a very powerful earlier it was a desktop then laptop now everything comes under the mobile screen so which uh, given a shift right now also number of uh, participants are attending these uh, workshop using mobile right many of you are from uh, on a laptop many of you are using desktop but majority people nowadays are using a la uh, mobile phones and mobile phones also comes in the various category so if you have a mobile phone few uh, good things uh, application and so you can create uh, a beautiful world for your students for yourself right so this provides a great shift uh, that's it this is also one of the answer now uh, different learning problems uh, we have so it requires different solutions you cannot rely on one particular solution so every problem is different so every problem have a uh, different problem have different uh, solutions and each learner when we think about learner so each learner right now also a number of people are here and they have uh, their own different kind of ability so each learner has a unique learning styles and unique requirement okay you cannot say x and y and z are equal they have a, uh, their own style they have their own uh, requirement someone is uh, very good at reading someone is very good at listening someone is very good at visual arts so every learner have a different requirement right and every problem has a unique characteristic so we have to count all these things okay so let's dig it there are basically there are plenty of things are there but plenty basically in general aspect there are two modes of teaching right now and both are now because of pandemic uh, it's uh, earlier it is known as the distance learning now it is a new name is given so we will discuss on that part but basically there are two methods of teaching okay all together both are uh, very different so both methods are different which one so one is classroom teaching another one is online learning okay so i use word in the classroom teaching and in the learning and on the online mode i, I use word a learning so basically whenever we are in the classroom face to face majority we are trying to teach okay and we uh, sometimes uh, here uh, people will differ uh, from uh, my point of view okay and uh, generally in classroom teaching face to face teaching we have a rigid schedule uh, a rigid time bound uh, at one geographic place and we are in a mode of teaching but in online learning uh, you have an option of learning rather than teaching we are doing teaching okay merely uh, those uh, who want to learn they can also learn in the classroom as well as in the online so in online teaching i am using word rather than teaching i am using word learning because sometimes we are speaking uh, teaching and learning but learning comes first then teaching until and unless you are not going to learn you cannot teach right so i am always uh, preferring to speak a learning and teaching rather than teaching and learning okay so classroom teaching versus online learning these are the generally two methods right now because of pandemic also uh, we are facing this okay sometimes we are going for the offline learning new word is also there in the synonyms uh, for the classroom teaching is offline so now people are saying uh, offline learning offline teaching or online teaching and uh, just we in the second wave uh, we encounter new uh, method in our state that is known as the hybrid method or hybrid mode what exactly it is that some of the students are able to come into the classroom and some of the students are not able to come not able to come into the classroom so what we are doing we are uh, whatever we are teaching in the classroom same thing will be broadcasted uh, on online mode so that is online plus offline so that is known as the hybrid mix simultaneously it's uh, not like that uh, you are doing classroom teaching then you are recording and then you are providing to your students not simultaneously you are doing both the things you are teaching into the classroom and same thing uh, some of the students are connected uh, through online mode and they are also learning 
whatever you are teaching into the classroom live. So that is known as the hybrid mode. So classroom teaching versus online. So on more mode is known as hardware. Sorry, hybrid mode. Right now, present, present. Uh, what we are facing or what we are doing the practice is this. So we are combining these two mode, which is known as the classroom teaching as well as online learning. So UGC is also uh, favoring. Just UGC also has uh, given a draft. Uh, I had given a link you go through it's a beautiful draft uh, about the blended learning how much you can do uh, online in regular mode also you can add up this and uh, which is known as the rebooting education and uh, some of the things you can provide uh, online and some of the things you can provide face to face you can blend it and you can get idea about and students also can get uh, idea about online peer learning, self learning, so they can motivate themselves for the learning aspects. Basically in India, uh, it's a very uh, little bit of problem. See, uh, to learn is a, a different kind of uh, situations. So how to motivate? Only the problem is how to motivate your learner for the learning. That is the main aspects. So blending learning is a beautiful model. Uh, you can go through this uh, guideline. It's a proposed uh, draft uh, i had given the link you can get idea about what exactly it is but it's a blend of two uh, online and offline teaching and you can also uh, blend your own method Not, nothing like that online offline you can flip it it's up to you it ups to uh, your institution if up to depends on your application depends on your subject depends on your students uh, depends on your geographical location depends on your institutions uh, uh, infrastructure management everything so you can blend according to your requirement so it's a beautiful model uh, just go through draft is available online on this website i had given a link but it's a uh, this is now we are coming out from the classroom so classroom teaching is not only the teaching we also have a, a different modes and we can blend it with the classroom we cannot forget the classroom we cannot bypass the classroom but with the classroom teaching we can add uh, a number of flavors to it and uh, for the students uh, benefit fine any any uh, this, uh, query about this fine uh, okay moving further now to do all these things uh, technology plays a critical role uh, if you don't have a technology uh, background uh, knowledge of technology how to do all these things fine uh, uh, proper Wi-Fi connection. That's why I, I use this slide. Uh, technology. Everything comes under the uh, technology aspects. That you have a proper connection. You need a proper device. Uh, you need uh, internet connections. Everything comes under the technology. But after this, if you have everything, say for example, and if you don't have uh, any idea how to use all of this, that is also a major problem. In few uh, pockets. They have everything, but they don't know how to use it in a proper way. So that is also a, a crucial issue. And that's why these training programs and everything is going on. Uh, whatever you have, I'm not saying the way I'm presenting, I have a beautiful studio and all these things and people don't have, so they don't have to do. Whatever you have, you can start with it. We will discuss this part uh, uh, later on this uh, session that what you can do at least start doing all these things uh, with the minimum requirement you can go and you can excel yourself and up to uh, reach up to maximum there is nothing like a maximum requirement obviously there is always a minimum requirement but there is nothing like a maximum requirement you can there is always a scope to enhance yourself so one by one 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 step by one step one by step you can excel yourself so but here technology is a critical instrument a critical mechanism that uh, one can use it properly and i'm very happy in this pandemic issue uh, pandemic uh, uh, time uh, educational institutions teachers uh, they use uh, greatly this technology so and because of that right now also we all of uh, we are communicating through uh, a technology and from various different different geographical places Fine. Now, uh, if you combine uh, this uh, professional skill with the digital uh, techniques or uh, skills, uh, then you can uh, reach up to 360 degree scenario. You can achieve everything what you want to achieve.
okay and where you can say you can learn anything anytime so that you can achieve learn anytime anywhere it's a beautiful uh, concept fine so it uh, removes the geographical background it removes your rigid schedule okay it provides everything so 360 degree scenario it means learn anytime anywhere sometimes uh, i don't have a time uh, through my busy schedule at we are in academic uh, uh, institutions right all everybody are teachers so uh, but also we are involving ourselves in uh, sometimes academic uh, uh, this administrative uh, times and all this thing and sometimes also at the end of the day we are feeling oh the today we had not did anything uh, constructive means in academic so at evening we are taking bath and now then at the home we are again uh, start uh, something uh, through digital device so that learn anytime anywhere you can do anytime so that is provides a 360 degree scenario and that is possible using technology now what exactly uh, we mean by 360 degree development in teaching there are plenty of things i covered few things you can add it uh, uh, so general aspects are there communication skills are there personal characteristics are there pedagogical strategies are there how to facilitate learner how to use a technology how to access learning in a proper way and then development of resources so how there are plenty other things are there but these are the uh, minimum requirement i say okay if you know this you can able to achieve a 360 degree scenario okay in teaching and learning let's see one by one what we mean by general so generally what uh, in professional uh, skill what we required so the as i said i am going to uh, discuss about in the context of a digital environment so be comfortable working in a virtual environment provide support to learners regardless regardless of location and time teach students life skills that we are right now also we are doing state of the art current knowledge in the subject area these are the general things you must know okay so this is the basic things that every teacher must know in present era okay then personal characteristics every every teacher is different than other teachers so every teacher have their own personal teacher uh, teacher x teacher is teaching in a different way y teacher is teaching in a different way so it's a purely based on personal characteristic so what exactly it is so be a good role model uh, for so this comes under the acceptance of teachers uh, amongst the students be a lifelong learner okay then only you can able to communicate with your students uh, very happily accept innovation in the learning system so you have open yourself be sensitive to learners individual differences this is very important aspects that we have to be sensitive about learners individual differences so these are uh, comes under the there are plenty of things uh, but uh, because of slide limitation also time limitation also i uh, restricted myself to four points only because my slide supports only four points so i made in the uh, method of the now communications a uh, very important aspect that communication at the level of learner okay so whatever you speak yeah, may, you I, may i ask a question please yeah yes please 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 yeah i am amit kumar mittal i am working in military engineer service yes sir Please, my sir. question is that in, in a teaching method generally generally your students are of the same class of the same standard but there is in case of learning online learning what we are talking about students are from different uh, areas as well as of different capabilities yes so how do you manage those things while granting online learning uh, there are depends on say for example if you are if you are teaching uh, to particular class of students say for example right now i'm uh, i'm teaching uh, electronics at uh, my university uh, and because of pandemic i am not able to teach in a classroom mode so now they are coming to the online mode but uh, they are for my, uh, they are uh, opted my course electronic course okay so immediately 
from one day you cannot identify the characteristic of learner uh, slowly and slowly you can able to get idea about the characteristic of learner so it's not a one day or one hour job it takes time to how to get idea about the learners and for that you can uh, after one module or one part you can uh, generate one small piece what they understand what they uh, get idea about it and from their feedback you can get uh, knowledge that how they are or how uh, your uh, mode of teaching learning online mode of teaching learning is uh, viable or not without feedback without feedback uh, not only the classroom see in classroom uh, they are first uh, they are uh, sitting in front of us so we can get idea from there even from their face we can get idea they are able to understand or not here people are uh, in online mode uh, and sometimes what happened when you say for, i am giving one example say for example you are putting one video uh, on a youtube uh, for uh, one conceptual video there are also plenty of things how to create a video but right now people are creating video but say for example you are creating one concept uh, based video and you are putting on a youtube you don't know when your students is going to come and see that particular video because you are not there you just uploaded the video now you have to create one kind of a feedback mechanism that uh, after watching the particular video what exactly your students learns or your learner got idea and then when they communicate to you then you can get idea so feedback mechanism is very important in online learning system otherwise we cannot able to get idea otherwise jo dala hai wo gaya and that's why uh, youtube so basically is of so basically it is a continuously evolving process yes yes until and unless we, uh, uh, see whenever you are putting online and whenever anything you are putting online you are not there uh, we are not there so there are there are way Correct. to create uh, to create a video or material uh, i am coming on the second aspect that how you can create material so uh, when you are when you are uh, right now also i am i am presenting a powerpoint so you are here i am also and you got some kind of a query then i am right now i am uh, trying to resolve your query but an online material a teacher is not there Hello. so so when you are uh, creating Hello? material you have to few things you have to keep in mind that Achha. you are not there so you have to create a material in a such a way that uh, there is some kind of a feedback system okay sir chalo main bula ke thank you or okay okay oh i what i am uh gupta sir oh. saurabh gupta sir kindly oh. mute your sir oh. Oh. okay so uh, communications uh, you have to operate uh, from your okay so the sorab gupta re can you mute your mic dr sorab gupta please mute your mic so you have to uh, you have to communicate so from the one bharat fine then for six the bbb c to mbb to primary level to okay i i cannot able to mute it i i am requesting a host sorry for the inconvenience uh, dikvijay sharma ji divya ma'am are you there sir i am there dr nidhi please ma'am kindly yes, uh, mr uh, saurabh gupta please sure sir thank you uh, dr nidhi is there any issue thank you fine uh okay no issue uh, these are the uh, uh, things regularly happens right sir okay, okay. thank you so, so much now, you may please continue yeah in communications uh, for the with the learner we have to operate at the level of uh, our uh, learner whatever uh, we are going to speak whatever we are going to describe if learner cannot able to understand then it is sab kuch bemani hai so we also have to see to it 
Use appropriate verbal and non-verbal communications. That's very important. Non-verbal communications are uh, not a part of online, but nowadays uh, uh, there is new uh, uh, visual sign language is emerged, which is known as uh, emoji. Uh, so here also people are using emoji. So from their feedback, we can also get, wow, something is good, uh, something is not good. Okay, uh, plus thumb sign and nugget some sign. See, uh, 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 has given a plus thumb sign. So that is also comes under the known verbal communications and which also again uh, provides a feedback. Without feedback, you cannot uh, go further in online mode. Even in the face-to-face, -face, but face-to-face -face we can get idea kisko chapat lagani hai, kisko chapat nahi lagani hai. Online mein to chapat nahi laga sakte hai. it's very difficult. Uh, but we can get idea. So there is a one a way of uh, feedback system, which is very important. The model good digital citizenship when using social media to communicate with the learners and peers. Here is a very big problem. Uh, we also have to keep watch on our students, what they are uh, writing on social media. Uh, just go through uh, today's newspaper or yesterday's newspaper that one player from England team got uh, suspension because of his remark on social media towards some uh, particular community. So which is also very important. What kind of reflection uh, society we are building up and communicate in the language of the learner, which is very important. Whatever I know, uh, I don't have to show it, but I have to operate at the level of learner. So it is very important thing, base thing, fine. So this is a communication aspect. Then pedagogical strategies, a very important. Okay, so one has to uh, work on that, that use appropriate pedagogical approach to match the technology. Encourage learners to learn independently. This is most important aspect one has to follow. That is a self-learning. Motivate your learner for the self-learning. Prescribe learning activities for individual learning because every learner is a different. So in online mode, if you have a 60 of class, you can do very easily, not an issue. There are plenty of ways. Only the things is how you are going to be creative and you can do that part. Engage learners during the learning process. That is also a very important ask. See, if it is an online class or offline class, online class or offline class, classroom teaching or online learning, hybrid mode, whatever it is. The basic line is how you are going to engage your learners. That is or how you are going to engage your students. That is a main uh, thing. Okay. So that one has to keep in mind always. Then we have to facilitate learning. Majority in online learning, this is required. Rather than teaching, uh, always facilitate your students for the learning. So be a good listener, that is a one criteria, then only you are a good speaker, otherwise it's very difficult. Respond to learners' questions in timely manner, which is also, uh, we are, what we are doing, we are just go and speak, blah, 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 we are not worried about the resolving a problems of our learner. So encourage creativity, encourage innovations. So what you can do, you have to define your own rule. Uh, again, I'm uh, saying it uh, depends on the institutional infrastructure and inst uh, rules and regulation in the institution. But a uh, few things you can uh, do uh, creatively, innovatively. So that is also possible. Right? Then use technology wisely, which is a very important. Right? How? So be a digital literate. Uh, first and foremost thing in this present era, be comfortable when using technology. It's very important things. Okay. Adapt to emerge using technologies, adapt yourself, uh, be adaptive. Use technology to provide efficient support to learners. So some of uh, some students are able to listen properly. They are very good at listening to provide audio material. Some students are very good at uh, visual things so provide video material. Whatever you can do, uh, you can do for your students. And nowadays because of technology, because of uh, fascinating softwares and applications, everything is possible. Uh, you can do very easily. You don't have to be a very technocrat person. Very easily you can do all these things. I will show you in the second part of this uh, session how you can do uh, all these things very easily. Right? And 
this is also very important how you are going to do assessment of learning fine so that is the most important aspect it based on your feedback so select assessment strategies to match the learning outcomes what you want to measure that is very important use assistive technology to provide support to learner use digital assessment strategies to assess performance in google classroom very easily you can do so many things and provide feedback to learner. your learner feedback is also very important and your feedback to learner is also very important so once this uh, last uh, portion happens positively uh, everything is changa right so a uh, person also get idea what he what kind of problem he or she have and he, uh, your faculty member also or ourselves also can get idea about what uh, where the problem is so to find the problems to solve the problems is only the solution and for that we need to uh, develop a strong feedback system right without feedback one cannot get idea then it is very much need of ours that we have to develop our own digital resources uh, ugc is also recommending uh, uh, that we have to go for uh, our content so have knowledge of the content which is very much important while you are going for your own digital content you must know what kind of content you are developing select the appropriate digital technology to match the content and the learning output create high quality digital say for example second point i am giving example say for example you are uh, developing any mobile app uh, or mobile material for your students and the group of students they don't have anything about how to use this particular app or how to do how to do how to use this particular mobiles okay and they even they don't have a uh, resources to use mobile then how you are uh, and then what is the use of uh, developing your mobile app so uh, one has to keep in mind so uh, do some uh, background work and then you can develop the material create high quality digital learning materials that is also ugc is also providing fund so i am uh, you can able to create uh, swayam course they are giving plenty of money no doubt there is a uh, selective process is there but you can try you can learn you can uh, try develop learning materials to meet specific learners need which is very important and everything nowadays uh, technology is there uh, learning university learning resources are there so you can develop all these things very easily we will see how to do this and then this is uh, uh, up to professional now we are using this skill in a digital era uh, attendance leaks uh, by uh, 1421 so provide attendant links which is very which is again a very important aspects fine so uh, digital skills what are the digital skills okay so in today's present era what exactly we mean by digital skill so there are plenty of things are there. Uh, i uh, am covering few uh, and ma majority that is comes under the content creator so programming knowledge uh, web development mobile application development digital business analysis digital data presenter and visualization digital project management digital product and social media oer material and common creatives or open educational resources and common creatives these are the comes under the content creator group there are plenty of other things are there but majority when you are develop any digital material which comes under the following uh, sections either you are doing programming and you are developing something either you are doing web development you are creating websites uh, then either you are developing mobile applications for learning activities either you can go for the uh, you are doing any data analysis work and you are presenting so that is a digital business analysis model academic business academic analysis model then digital data presenting and visualizing so you are creating a beautiful graphs and basically you are presenting your data in a visual way so that is also there so everybody is familiar with the excel and powerpoint converting your excel graph into the powerpoint and you are presenting then digital project management is also there there are so many tools are there which can keep uh, track of your activity day to day timeline and provides the management facility then uh, social media is also there uh, facebook is giving fantastic uh, facility that whatever you did last year today 
that also uh, they are providing a memory uh, for the same day. So they are also in a way they are creating a digital library of uh, your activity. I go to the Facebook and checking the activities tab. So you will get all your uh, previous uh, post and resources. Everything is there. And social media, everybody knows about it. Uh, no, <laughs> no need to teach. And then very important uh, aspects or section which is known as the OER, Open Educational Resources and Common Creatives. So say for example, uh, if you are not uh, able to create anything and if you want to create something but you are not able to do that part, so plenty of material comes uh, or available under the banner of Open Educational Resources. Uh, they are providing free materials with some, uh, no doubt, some uh, license rules that you can create it, so you can use it, you can share it, uh, so plenty of things are there. Now the another point is there. Uh, if you say, for example, you are creating a website and you are putting every material on the website and somebody is going to copy it, right? And then you will say, why, why, why I have to put on my uh, material on my website? Our people are copying it and they are converting into the book and they are selling the books and they are earning the money. So for this kind of problem, you can get a digital license for the from the Common Creatives website. So there is a, uh, just search Google uh, Common Creatives. So you'll get idea about what exactly it is. So both way, uh, in OER, you can use it, Open Educational Resources. And if your uh, material is there, uh, digital material there, then you can take digital license for that, your material. So which is provided by Common Creatives, okay? So these are the, comes this, everything comes under the content creator, content creator, digital content creator. And basically it is known as the e-content development. Uh, we will see few things about it, right? Okay, any, any query about this? Any questions, anything about this uh, uh, content creator part? I think, sir, it is uh, very well understood, and uh, this is a very nice way of showing this uh, all the areas that you have shown, sir. Very nice tree. Okay, ma'am. Thank you. So I am closing that part. Uh, uh, moving to the further now, uh, what makes online teaching excellent, uh, which is uh, very important nowadays because right now face-to-face uh, -face classroom is not happening. So we must go for the online teaching and how you can make it online. Uh, excellent. So this is a new normal for students as well as teachers because see, uh, we are not uh, uh, trained uh, or our training is not for the online teaching. Our basically our training is up to this point before pandemic, up to pandemic, our training is for the face-to-face -face classroom teaching. And all of a sudden pandemic came and this uh, because of Corona and now every, everybody is online. Okay, so we have to train ourselves. Uh, students also have to learn that how to connect or uh, what kind of assignment, how to submit uh, assignment online, digital, everything. Teacher also has to learn how to put assignment digitally, how to create a material. So this is a new normal for teachers as well as students. Right? And uh, teaching and learning through environment is the most diverse methods. So the methods we are using in the classroom, here it won't work, okay? So you have to evolve uh, different kind of techniques and tools. And for that, you need some kind of a tools and then you have to learn that particular tools, okay? And then only you can able to perform online. So it's important that teachers train to advance their skills to online learning situation to make their content effective and engaging for learners. Then only your students can able to learn online. Huh? In physical classroom, they are sitting in front of you. So you can see, there are there, but in online, they are going to switch off the camera and you never know that uh, the, uh, he or she is learning or their device is learning, right? So you have to provide some kind of a, uh, different kind of a material, extraordinary material, then only they can able to sit and learn. And for that, before jumping into the, that, uh, everybody has to uh, go through uh, some kind of an etiquette. Uh, they are comes under the three part, host, presenter and participants. Uh, for the host, uh, you are doing fantastically. So whatever the points I had, uh, did, uh, everything comes that pre-planning, uh, meeting planning, lesson planning, registration, invitation, 
attentive during the meeting, infrastructure support and maintenance and post planning. These are the things host has to do uh, while doing any online activity. Then uh, presenter, always uh, presenter has to be prepared themselves, provide technical support, be efficient. They have to set up everything on their end. Uh, I, they have to maintain eye contact. Say for example, right now I switch off my camera and I speak, uh, you are not able to connect with me. Right now, uh, all of you are not uh, kept your camera online, but I have to keep uh, my camera online and I have to uh, authorize my material the way I am presenting. No doubt it's uh, from various resources, uh, from the Google and so many other resources. But right now I have to authorize that I am um, author of it and I am presenting. Okay, then body language, which is also very important, how you are presenting your stuff, how you are, what kind of... Uh, standing position, posture, everything you have to maintain. Uh, here also I am doing healing, dueling, but uh, in online, which is you have to restrict yourself uh, because of the camera flicker. So that also you have to keep uh, in mind. Uh, if your camera setting is uh, 60 hertz, generally it is imported from the foreign countries. So their default, country, their default setting flicker is 60 hertz. And our Indian uh, AC line frequency is 50 years. So sometimes flickers come. So you have to adjust it. So all these things, uh, it's very important that how you are presenting. Then participants, always they have to prepare whenever anything uh, asked to them. They have to be, uh, they have to stick with their device. Uh, they have always, they have to mute their microphone. They have to switch off your camera. Uh, whenever it requires, they have to switch on the camera because of the bandwidth problem. Right and be respectful, be attentive, wise use of chat book. Sometimes people are uh, blah, 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 they are typing. But see, when presenter is presenting, uh, they are always concentrating on their talk. So it's very difficult uh, for them to answer. So always uh, use chat box wisely. So these are the uh, basic uh, netiquettes. And you can design your own while you are arranging or uh, with your students or learning, you can uh, define your rule, but you have to define. Uh, these are the very important. Now, comes to the platform aspects. What kind of platforms we have? So there are basically three platforms available. Uh, one platform is for the learning, another is for the streaming, and third one is for the teaching, right? So learning platform is different, streaming platform is different, and a platform for the teaching is also different and all the three are divided into two part again which is some of the uh, platforms are comes under the category of MOOCs some of the platform are, comes under the category of LMS people have a uh, uh, problems to understand MOOCs and LMS basically both are one in the same I'll uh, because of the quantity only it differs you can define your own MOOCs you can uh, define your own LMS we will uh, see how what exactly it is Okay, so let's see uh, one by one. Uh, learning platform, I, I had covered uh, only uh, government platform here. Uh, what are the government? Plenty of platforms are available, but these are the platform provided by the uh, government. Uh, Sagun Online Junction, National Repository for the Online Educational Resources, Dixa is there for the school, e Parsala again for the school. So these are the learning uh, platforms. Swayam Prabha, where uh, internet connection is not there, it's a channel uh, transmission TV through ch uh, education through TV. So entire uh, program is there, which is known as the Swayam Prabha. Then NID is there, uh, Digital Library of India is there, and fantastic uh, resources is known as avilab.co.in, which is a virtual labs. Uh, whenever you have time, just go. Those who are from the science and technology and engineering must visit this website, avilab.co.in, a uh, virtual labs. Uh, fantastic uh, experiments are there. You will amaze. Uh, and all are from the Indian uh, universities. Uh, fantastic. And all are from the Indian teachers and uh, validated content. Okay? Authorized content. Oh, yeah, come this, is uh, this is a beautiful platform oh, created by the GOI oh, yeah, government of India. Yeah, so. <laughs> Uh, which is swayam.goe.in. Uh, there are plenty of courses for the teachers, students, and, uh, and different categories, diploma, certificate, degree, uh, fantastic. Uh, just go to the swayam.goe.in. Uh, you will get uh, idea what exactly. You can contribute and you can also get part of it. 
uh, both the things are uh, open then uh, if you go to the mhrd website this is an earlier uh, screenshot but there is a uh, facility is there uh, locket e contents and you will find uh, free oer content e content material available on the website uh, developed by the teachers under the nme icd projects or uh, from the all over india those who are from the um, technical sites so facilities there which is nptel uh, consortia of iit and iisc uh, again you will find uh, plenty of now nptel and uh, swam got merged uh, both are providing the same content so either you go to the nptel either you can go to the swam uh, if you are uh, sometimes people are uh, thinking foreign materials are very good so this is also a very good website ocw open courseware dot mit dot edu and you can get a free material under the name of various courses those who are connected with the research you will get uh, through uh, this online thesis uh, references everything into the implement dot ic dot in show the ganga is a uh, resources for getting the digital thesis uh, which is again uh, from the india itself uh, 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 this is from the researchers of indian origin uh, for the school, e Parsala is there. All the NCD uh, books are available online. And for the higher education, EPG Parsala is there. So these are the example of OER. If you don't find any uh, material, here is a material, and you can take and you can facilitate your students. You can provide uh, resources to your students. So these are if you don't want to develop, then you can provide the link and uh, resources to your students. See, these are the uh, websites where you can find. Uh, material because teacher only knows uh, where the good material is so you can provide uh, good material to your students uh, for their learning aspects now as i said there is a there are people have a confusion about the lms or mooc so lms means learning management system and mooc is massive online open courses now let's see what exactly it is so MOOC, where a large quantity, large number of uh, resource persons are there, large number of courses are there, are running simultaneously. That's why a name is given a MOOCs, Massive Online Open Course, where commerce is also involved. So these are the example of a uh, very popular uh, MOOCs platform, EDX, Coursera, Udacity, Udemy, and so, um, so many others are also there, but these are the very famous uh, platforms available in India. Then, uh, streaming platforms, uh, web conference and webinar, social media streaming. If you want to do any web conference or webinar or any workshop online or second category is social media streaming. Right now also we are uh, doing a workshop, online workshop or you can say web conference or you can say web workshop or online webinar. So there are various platforms are available to do this. So they are div basically divided into two aspects, either using social media, either you can use for a particular application or platform, uh, which are mint uh, or developed for this particular purpose. So for streaming platform, for the web conference, webinar, plenty of options are there. Geomate, Google Mode, right now we are using Cisco WebEx, Microsoft Team, Go Meeting, uh, free conference call, Zoom, Skype, and many others. It ups to you that which platform uh, you want to develop, or it's up to your institution which platform they are providing. Okay, but by choosing the, uh, there are some of the platforms are free up to some uh, particular subscribers, and then they are charging. So it's up to you that which platform is suitable for you. Say, for example, you like Google Meet, okay, or you like Cisco WebEx but your institution is not supporting, your institution is supporting Microsoft team, then you have to adequate yourself for the Microsoft team. So here comes a digital skill that you have to develop your, you have to educate yourself for the that particular platform. Every platform have their own unique uh, characteristic, every platform have their merits and demerits. So sometimes we have uh, options that we can able to select it. Uh, sometimes we don't have a choice uh, whatever the platform provide to us that we have to use it right so it's up to sometimes it up to ourselves sometimes it up to our institution but whatever the platform provided or access to us that we have to use it and we have to adequate how to mute ourselves how to create a link how to provide a material how to uh, 
uh, do settings and all these things. Every platform have their merits and demerits, right? So uh, that up to you and your institution, your uh, learners and your capability, fine. We use Blackboard, ha, huh, fine. There are plenty of uh, LMS are there. Then streaming platforms. Say for example, you don't want to use any other uh, of platform. These three platforms are very good. They are available. So say for example, sometimes you have a thousand participants and whatever the uh, stream, uh, whatever the web webinar license, you have up to 500 participants. So what about the other 500 participants? Then all the platforms, generally licensed platforms are giving facility that you can stream, live stream uh, your webinar or conference on this uh, social media platform at the same time. After that also you can put recording on this uh, streaming media and generally people are people have account normally they are available. They are not coming into the classroom but they regularly they are coming onto the Facebook. I am also regularly I am saying my students that you are not coming into the my classroom but you are there. Uh, green dot is there on the Facebook link so we can get idea so that uh, also you can that option also you can able to use and if you have a license uh, version of your any streaming software or any streaming webinar conference tool uh, they are provide uh, how to uh, they are provide a link to stream your content on Facebook YouTube or Instagram Instagram have one extra added facility that you can uh, interview one more person so two person can communicate or two person can uh, do interview with each other at the same time whereas a facebook and a youtube don't have an option so go there check merit premier uh, pro and cons are there okay it's up to your applications but platforms are there facilities are there how to use it that is up to us fine okay then a uh, platform for the teachers specifically if you want to teach and if you want to connect with your uh, students then uh, there are uh, platforms are there some platforms are open access some platforms are known as the closed access what exactly we mean by open access and uh, closed access say for example open access so there are three there are again uh, so many other facilities are there uh, wordpress is there joomla is there these are the frameworks that you can use for the uh, site uh, development but these are the three facility within the five clicks you can create your own website. So Google site is there, Bibli is there, and Wix is there. Using only five clicks, you can create your own website and you can put your material and you can facilitate your learner. And this is known as the open access. Why it is open access? Because whosoever has link, they are coming on their website and they can able to access your material. So that's why it is known as the uh, open access. And I'm preferring a Google website. It's very easy to develop because everybody have a majority of the people are using Android phone. So while using Android phone, you have a Gmail account. And without Gmail account, your Android phone won't work. So once you have a Gmail account or Google account, then you can able to create your Google website very easily. And all your Google tools are streamlined within the uh, Google. So Google Drive is there, Google Gmail is there, everything is there. So, and the best part is Google website is generally majority used by the teachers or the educators. And they also part of the edu Google education. So you won't see any awkward advertisement within your uh, transmitting of information. Whereas Weebly and Wix have advertisement a problem. So being an educator, I, I must suggest go for the Google website development rather than Weebly and Wix. All the three are uh, capable enough uh, to provide the same kind of facility. But I, my first vote goes to the Google website because it is for the educator. Right? And with five clicks, you can create your own website. So this is a fantastic uh, facility given by the Google website. Then comes the close access. Okay, in close uh, access, where only you are providing your students or learner to access your content. So either you can create Google Classroom, either you can create Edmodo, either you can create Microsoft Classroom, either you can use Moodle, LMS, Learning MMS. Google Classroom, also known as Learning Management System. They are providing a, a schedule. You can schedule your uh, material, you can schedule your content, you can uh, create a quiz, you can open the quiz, you can close the quiz, you can create assignments, you can uh, defines the date 
or schedule for your assignments. So in a way, they are providing a management of a learning. That's why it is known as the learning management system. And Google Classroom, uh, Google Classroom is uh, very popular and very easy to use. Edmodo is also very popular and very easy to use, but uh, Google Classroom is uh, really a very easy thing to start with it. And it provides close access. So it remains up to uh, only uh, the learner which you are allowing to use. Okay, so this is the best platform. Either you can go for this open access, either you can go for the close access. If you want to combine, uh, or if you want to jump into the global standard, then go for the open access. And if you want to restrict yourself up to your, in, uh, your class or your institutions, uh, then you can go for the close access. Some of the things, say for example, I'm teaching my uh, uh, MSc students. So I'm creating Google Classroom. So why? Because my syllabi is different. I'm always concerned about only my students. I'm, I'm there only for the my students. So I'm whatever that I'm teaching in the classroom that I'm putting into the Google Classroom. Some of the materials I'm creating generally. So that I'm putting over here. So I have a Google website uh, as well as I'm Google. I have a Google Classroom. So here in Google Sites, whosoever links, they come and access my material. But here in Google Classroom, only my students have uh, permission to access uh, whatever the material created by me and whatever the material I had put over there. Okay, so this is a basic difference about the open access and close access. Both are very easy. Within the five clicks, you can create both the platform. Okay, so uh, kindly go for it. It's a very uh, beautiful facility provided by the Google. Google is not giving any money to me uh, to marketing all these things, but it's very easy for the teacher to build uh, one app because see we need one platform where we can also there our students also there we can uh, uh, discuss few things uh, on that particular virtual platform so this google is providing a beautiful facility so this is the first part uh, if any if you have any questions uh, kindly ask me then i'll uh, switch over to the uh, few things for a half an hour uh, uh, at 3.30, I have to go to attend one uh, very important meeting of my university. So I'll restrict myself up to 3.15. Uh, so after this, I'll uh, give you idea about uh, content creation tools. But up to this point, if you have any questions, you can ask. So if not, then I'll switch over to the uh, next portion of my uh, presentation. This is a one part. Second part I am uh, explaining. But up to this very part. So it's very okay, clear. Fantastic. Very nicely explained, sir. Thank you very much. Sometimes what happens, samaj mein aaya to acha hai, nahi aaya to bahut acha hai. Fine. Making uh, it's actually uh, very interesting and important for an educator to be well versed with the technological advancements. And I'm seriously making notes from your lecture. So it's actually a very uh, you, a good environment to learn. Thank you very much. Sir, can, uh, sir, can I ask, ask one question? Yeah, yeah, please, please. Sir, can you can you repeat the name of the e-learning platform? I I just lost the voice around EPG Partshala. Before EG, EPG Partshala, what will be the resource content for online everything? E, e, EPG Partshala e, have content of higher education. Apart, e, apart from EPG Partshala, what, what are the uh, content available on the website? Like other e-learning sources? This is a Swayam is there, uh, NPTEL is there. Thank you, sir. Yeah. Thank you. So, uh, with all of your kind permission, I'll switch uh, to another presentation, right? Joseph, please, please go ahead. Uh, uh, wait for two minutes. I have to switch uh, my uh, uh, slides. No problem, sir. No issues. Uh, only two minutes. In we really, minutes, we really like this idea of your lecture stand, sir. The podium is looking excellent. Thank you very much. Uh, this is a great idea. In between, in between, if you have any problem, any query, you can ask. By the time I'll uh, switch the uh, presentation. It has been truly an amazing session, sir. And I think uh, our participants are delighted to learn so many good things from you. 
though i myself is a very strong admirer of yours but then i'm sure that the fan following increases and uh, what i have been citing since beginning these are complemented and supplemented by uh, distinguished speakers like you in fact today in the second session professor rakesh godwani cited that we should have uh, six qualities and they were uh, 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 in context of charismatic leadership so one of them was uh, knowledge charm sacrifice and uh, yet an important one was fame so uh, when dr divya and dr nidhi cited that sir the way you are presenting is amazing i think we would love to have an exclusive session <laughs> so that we could set up such studio what you have developed and uh, learn these skills from you so that uh, we can also work on this and sir acha kaam karenge to shafa apne aap hi mil jayega aisa hi aap hame sikhate aaye hain aur itna acha aap session lete aaye hain maza aa jata hai sir back to you sir i understand uh, there is a paucity of time please please continue yes yeah. please yeah so now in the second parts whatever i explained in the first part uh, how to do as yes, uh, daya sir is also uh, explain bhai hame bhi sikhaiye how to do all these things so these are the very uh, uh, normal things once you get idea then you uh, easily at home your home right now also i am sitting at my home uh, in my university office as is not working so i came to, uh, specially to my home uh, for presenting this uh, uh, session and again i will go back to the university right and this is i am doing from my home only fine uh, so if time permits i will show you how how i am doing it's now nothing like a rocket science uh, it's only for the uh, uh, teachers that how i am doing you also can able to do right but before that let's see Uh, how to create uh, beautiful contents uh, right now uh, because of time permits i'll just show you the tools and ways okay and some other times uh, permits uh, i have my youtube channel uh, where uh, you also find the videos and um, website is also there where also you can find and also on youtube just search uh, whatever the uh, keywords i am providing you uh, you will find the techniques how to develop it so right now i am only showing you the way that you can start thinking and you can also develop this kind of things okay so uh, let's do that fine so these are the basically uh, comes under the e content creation so what exactly the basic aspects of e content how to create text lectures how to create uh, beautiful images how to edit images how to remove background from the images these are the common things we are as we teacher uh, puzzles right and uh, creating and uh, recording and altering the audio so uh, you have uh, god has given a beautiful voice so they can able to create their own audio lectures uh, in the night late night if you are sitting on your uh, easy chair and you are listening music the way same way you can able to listen the audio notes so that is also a beautiful thing you can create and how to create simple ways to create animations uh, creating video lectures and how to create a home studio fine so these are the things comes under the uh, e content creations and now it is a requirement for the teachers okay and because of tiktok and facebook short videos and so many moj platform and so many other platforms and because of mobile camera everybody is now a, a director and editor so for few uh, because using uh, a few exercise everybody knows how to do all these things and so many techniques so many beautiful videos are available on youtube i am always uh, referring one line uh, the app uh, sir knows uh, my this patent line i can say patent line because i am frequently i am using jiska koi nahi uska google hai yaar fine so don't uh, feel shy and uh, don't feel alone aapke paas kuch nahi hai to google to hai or free mein available hai okay so i am always believing in and whatever I, things i learn and that is only from the youtube uh, now it is youtube library whatsapp like uh, youtube university whatsapp university are there uh, learning resources we have tremendous learning resources only the thing is we have to do right so let's see uh, very quickly uh, uh, this is a basic difference between the content and e content the normal text matches which is a printed material written printed material which is known as the content and if you have a digital material 
so your material is converted into the uh, digital form through or electric form using any tools then it is known as the uh, e-content or electronic content so basically e-content is nothing but a conversion so you need a content then only you can able to create e-content so e-content is basically a what is called a conversion part right so you must need a content and that's why oer is there open educational if you are not able to create your content take help of oer and again convert it into the e-content material right and if you want to get license then go for the common creatives then you can take your own license okay fine then how to do that so you have a four uh, steps first you have to go for text material find the text write the text okay then convert into the electronic oer open educational resources open educational resources say for example igno material is oer uh, majority material is uh, oer material right now the first you need a text is very important aspects and so uh, once you have a uh, text then you have to convert it into the electronic text i will show you how to do that and then you have to go for the second step which is known as the simulation simulation is nothing but you have to add extra layer uh, to your text either you have to insert uh image video animation audio anything which supports your text so it's simulate uh, to learner uh, for the further steps so that is known as the simulation and third one is a bibliography from where you get this material or what is the scope of this material to validate it you have to provide uh, to validate your content you have to provide uh, a source or this uh, citation which have a two meaning a scope of it which defines the scope of the material and which defines the validation of your material right so in a normal uh, world we are familiar with the bibliography so here you have to provide a digital material web-based material so it provides you uh, web-based resources so which is known as the bibliography and the last is uh, we discuss about one very good questions which is known as the self-assessment quiz uh, which gives idea about the feedback uh, for the learner right so you can get learner itself when you are putting a material on the online you are not there so learner after attending uh, saq learner can get idea what he or she learns so which provide uh, feedback to learner uh, he understood or not okay so this if you combine for this which is known as the one e content module fine so this is for the module part E content module file and for do this to implement this four part you have to follow this uh, beautiful branch of education which is known as the instructional design uh, which is a systematic process of designing developing implementing and evaluating instruction how you are giving instruction to your learner so complex thing can be uh, landed in a simple way so it ups to you you have a, a raw material say for example then you are processing through your uh, visualization or any any technique audio video anything and a learner can get a simplification uh, kind of a material so that comes under the instructional design a uh, very strong branch uh, uh, nowadays and we need this fine then how you are presenting your material either non-linear or non linear so right now i'm doing linear presentation slide one slide two slide three but if you are putting your material on a website page one page two so learner this uh, powerpoint presentation is a presenter centric whereas if you are putting your material on a website then it is known as the user centric user have a access or choice uh, go to the first page go to the second page or the third page so it's a linear or a non-linear and delivery once you create your material how you are going to de uh, deliver your material so either you can give through pen drive hard disk cd rom uh, DVD room, but right now it is not possible because of the pandemic. The other option is uh, develop a material uh, digitally and create a platform, either Google Classroom, either a Google website, and provide your material through this particular free uh, platform uh, I, on the internet. So it is a web based application, right? So, uh, which is possible nowadays. Uh, you can create your own platform very easily. Types of e content, a static content or the dynamic content static content you can say a uh, word file uh, powerpoint uh, file which contains only a text and uh, static images whereas dynamic which have animations video so powerpoint is a hybrid model uh, in your powerpoint slide you have a uh, animation you have a video you have a text you have a uh, audio 
so it comes under the dynamics slide so which kind of material you want to develop it's up to you okay and then uh, what are the elements of e content if you want to develop uh, e content uh, material then what are the elements uh, that uh, concentrate upon so first one is a text then second one is an image third one is audio a fourth one is video and last but not least animation so these are the different anime uh, uh, elements or assets of e content material either you can create a text material or a textbook either you can go for video lecture either you can go for the storybook which is again only images and few text lines either you can go for the audio lectures uh, it's up to you which kind of material you want to develop uh, let's see one by one how you can do all these things uh, in a very simple way so say for example here uh, uh, text animation video audio image are there so i'm picking up first part which is a text so in text basically it's a word processing uh, tool uh, so nowadays uh, mainly thing is people have a problem of typing how much type we can do how much it's a very problematic so these are the tools which is available voice typing transcription pdf ebook and google translation app which is generally these are the deal with the uh, text processing part how to do that let's go for the voice typing so uh, if you have a google account then you can go to the google docs open google docs select in the google uh, uh, docs i have a uh, not much time otherwise uh, i have a, a uh, training videos I can uh, show you but you can go visit my uh, YouTube channel Ivani from Jivani where you will find the videos of this uh, select tools menu click on voice typing choose language whatever the language you want to speak you can uh, select it and go on type uh, go on speak it converted into the text so this is a beautiful facility provided by the Google's you need inter live internet connections and this is for the desktop version for the laptop version you have a google assistant so uh, if you don't want to use google assistant if you want to work on the desktop or a uh, laptop then go for this facility open google docs select tools menu choose my start speaking it will uh, convert it into the text so this is a first facility a very uh, best facility uh, free then transcription sometimes what happen uh, we want a speech from the uh, audio or video uh, say for example nowadays uh, this uh, youtube is also providing the same things uh, subtitles but we need uh, text from the audio so which is basically known as the transcript facility so for that uh, you don't have to download any software uh, in your desktop you have a stereo mic facility in the sound section go to the uh, setting of your uh, computer laptop See, whatever I am showing you, if you are not able to understand, just uh, write this word stereo mix and search on a uh, YouTube how to enable stereo mix. So once you do that, uh, your co computer is capable of converting uh, text from the audio or video lectures. How you can uh, go for this select stereo mix as an audio input instead of mic, you have to select audio input as a stereo mix from your sound setting of your computer open audio or video any online or offline and go to the google doc or uh, another website which is known as the speechnot.net uh, start the video click on the recording automatically whatever the sound uh, or whatever the speech audio or video have which is converted into the text so that is known as the uh, transcription this is a proven technology i use heavily uh, if you have any issue while using this, uh, kindly personally DM me. I'll try to resolve your uh, uh, problems. Okay, but this is a best part that you can convert your uh, audio or video speech into the text. Third, how to convert a PDF uh, uh, material uh, or say for example you have a uh, uh, your notes, uh, old notes and you want to provide to your students so this is the best application available on uh, apple or uh, android platform which is known as the clear scanner the name of the app is clear scanner so what you have to do you have to just take the snap of your notebook and convert it into the pdf so there is a batch mode is also there 
put a page one, then second, then third, then fourth, and press OK, and automatically it will convert. A beautiful facility. Even they are providing a conversion facility also. So OCR facilities also there. Uh, from the image, you can convert uh, text into the text material. Editable text you can get. Uh, that is known as the OCR facility. But this PD, this clear scanner only provides the one language option. If you want to go for more language option, just use this application, which is known as the uh, Google Translation application. Available Android and application. This app do two jobs. It will also provide the translation as well as it retrieves the original text from the photo even. If you have a photograph and if you want to convert text from the photograph to editable text, use this Google translation applications, which will provide the editable text uh, any language, not only the one language, but it supports 23 languages. Okay, so this is uh, uh, for the next part. Uh, if you have any problem about the conversion of text, you can use these four applications. Uh, your job will be done. Then comes to the uh, image part. So generally, image have uh, what exactly the image is about. So basics are there, editing tools are there, creation tools are there, capturing tools are there. So if you have idea about these things, and then you can create beautiful image, you can edit image, you can alter the image, or you can remove the background of image. Fine. How to do that? So for that, you need this kind of free tools. These are the free tools available. The four tools, upper part, paint, pick, pick, PowerPoint, and Jeep are a free tools uh, used for the uh, desktop or a laptop. If you have a laptop or a desktop, you can use this tool to create your image. A paint is a very easy program uh, where you can create a simple diagram. If, even if you can resize, if you want to resize your image, you can do for the go for the paint and you can resize the image. Then another one is speed pick, which is a basically a image capture tool. Whatever the comes uh, image comes on your screen, it will capture it. Okay. Then PowerPoint is also a very beautiful tool to create image. Then GIMP is a professional tool, but freely available, just like Photoshop. These all four you have to download it and you have to use. If you don't want to download it, just go to the Clean PNG. Uh, Clean PNG is a website. Uh, you can get a thousands of image a uh, license free. High resolution image are available on this website and it's a royalty free image. A name of the website is Clean PNG. Just search Google a Clean PNG. You will get thousands of images, uh, royalty free images. Then if you want to create a logo within the three minutes or within the five minutes or five clicks, you can create a beautiful logo online. Uh, write a name of the uh, website is MAKR. It's a logo MAKR. It's not a MAKER, but it's a logo MAKR. So beautiful free website is there. Within the five clicks, you can create your own logo. Fantastic uh, uh, facility is there. Then uh, one beautiful website, which is known as the remove.bg remove.bg whatever the image have background uh, you can remove it very easily through one single click you can remove any complex background from your image which is the uh, name of the website is uh, remove.bg and all rounder tool if you know this canva you can do everything it provides a browser design it provides powerpoint slide design it provides audio intro a video intro uh, flyer, social media content, everything it provides. Okay, and it, uh, Canva have a mobile application also, and web-based application is also there. So you can use on a cloud uh, on your desktop or laptop using cloud facility, or you can use on a mobile also. And your all the data remains over cloud. So they have a two plans: free and uh, paid. I have since last two years I am using free account only and I don't have to purchase anything extra. Whatever the background and everything you can see, you can, it comes from the Clean PNG website and from the Canva. Okay, so these are the, uh, this podium is also from the Clean PNG. I downloaded it from the Clean PNG. And Canva is also provide uh, mindful resources and plenty of videos are available on YouTube. Just go to the YouTube search uh, tutorial uh, for Canva, it provides a uh, facility. Fine, so this is about the image. Now comes to the audio. 
if you want to create audio if you want to alter the audio if you want to uh, record the audio then there are three tools are there uh, for the laptop or desktop uh, audacity software is there as a free tool a beautiful software totally free software just like professional you can edit it you can remove the noise and you can clean the audio and again you can save it as an mp3 or mp4 and you can use uh, for your presentation or for your audio notes then if you have a mobile if you don't have a uh, laptop or desktop a mobile also have a just type audio editor uh, you will find free audio editor and where you can record your audio and you can edit it and then after you can use it and if powerpoint also have a facility which is known as the narration so uh, for each slide you can record the audio then in powerpoint there is a facility that export as a video file so from 2010 onwards if you have a powerpoint version 2010 onwards then you can export your narration uh, using slides as a video freely okay so you don't have any other tools required then comes uh, a video not creates uh, creation now people have a uh, questions how to do all these things so video have a various uh, formats of uh, types of videos are there i always suggest always create a video not more than five or six, uh, seven minutes it's very difficult to uh, see after that so educational video must be or video must be concept based if you want to try to develop any concept then only create a video otherwise uh, uh, for the simple concept don't create a video okay but how you can do that so there are plenty of ways these are the types of video for the education you can uh, create a writing video board work video powerpoint 365 video active presentation uh, presenter video pc screen recorder video mobile screen recorder video these are the tools uh, where you can create writing video means you can uh, keep mobile and go on writing and create uh, a video or record video then it is known as the writing video board work video while you are you are uh, using board work and you are putting your mobile on a tripod and recording it then it is known as the board work video powerpoint if you have a powerpoint 2019 or powerpoint 2365 version they have a facility that the way right now i am doing you can uh, enable your camera uh, you can enable audio uh, and then you can create your audio video with slide so that is known as the powerpoint 365 video then you don't have any other tools if you don't have a powerpoint 365 then you can same thing you can do with the active presenter video which is a free tool so first create your slides in powerpoint then use active presenter and where you can enable camera and you can just go and speak uh, according to your slide and create a video and then video will be created then pc screen recorder video is also available whatever comes on your screen that uh, will be recorded obs is one example uh, free cam is also another example these are the tools available and then mobile screen uh, recorder video ez screen recorder fantastic uh, facility which provide uh, enabling of audio and video both with your slides so mobile screen ez screen recorder is also there whatever comes on your screen you can record it so these are the um, for the video so this is uh, uh, what i have uh, there are plenty of other things uh, even uh, these uh, tutorials of this all all the uh, tools uh, i have a video of all the tools but right now we don't have a time because it requires uh, two three days to explain and uh, demonstrate all these things and hands-on okay so because this session is not about the hands-on this is just uh, i'm uh, demonstrating how uh, uh, rich resources we have and only the thing is how we can use it wisely uh, uh, whenever whatever the resources you like just go to the google or just go to the youtube search about it uh, you will find plenty of tutorials if you uh, in bit, uh, middle of it if you have any problem or if you stuck anywhere just uh, dm me uh, uh, the ESR have my contact number any time you can contact me i'll try to explain or resolve your query so thank you very much sir the ESR, uh, for uh, providing uh, interaction with the learned people uh, I think uh, I have taken sufficient time 
to sir we are humbled and honored it is indeed one of the amazing sessions which we had before i invite uh, dr divya and dr nidhi to express a formal uh, gratitude to you i think uh, it is important that uh, i must share my screen in your honor and play a very brief video uh, so that's for you sir from all the participants from all of us Thank you. 